everybody today I want to talk about one of my on the whim purchases that I made at Ulta and I picked up the prismic palette okay. great for feminine look smoky look spring look um, even like a wintry look with the lighter shades like um otherworldly and luminous so you get a lot of seasons out of this palette so I'm going to swatch these up real quick for you so you can see how they perform pigmentation and I'm going to give a few tips on how I use them and how they could be used so the first shade I'm swatching is Otherworldly, and this is a bright white shade that is perfect for highlighting in the inner corner of the eye and even under the brow. As you can see, there's a slight metallic sheen to this shade, so you can use this as a highlighter. The next shade is Beauty, and this is a bit of a sheer shade, but it's great for all over the lid. The third shade is Bliss, and this is a little bit deeper, but still the same tone, still a little bit sheer. Peak is next, and this is deceptively brown. In the pan it looks more pink, but on the lid it's going to look a bit more brown. Destination is a deeper brown um, with a slight metallic sheen to it. And the last shade is Reflection, which is a deep black with silver shimmer. Treat this like you would treat a glitter. So that completes the first row. I wish Beauty and Bliss were not just overlays because I think those shades would have been gorgeous if they had their shimmery top. Now starting out the second row is Luminous and this shade is another highlighter but this is a silver or light white that has silver shimmer in it. The second shade is Crystal and this is a very pale mint shade. As you can see you can build it up but overall it's a sheer shade. The third shade is Earthly and this was one of my favorite shades of the palette. It was a deeper spring green, very pretty with a slight reflection so you can see a very very slight shift. Then we have Believe. This is a sheerer blue shade. Again, it's buildable. Um, this palette is definitely very spring where you have sheerer shades, but you also have shades that you can build up. You can use that shade as a liner if you apply it wet. Then we have Radiance, another one of my favorites of this palette. And this is a nice golden shade that's sheer, but when you apply it wet, wow. Last but not least is Presence, and this is a chocolate brown. The second row was a little bit deeper. Then the first row, you have some good liner shades in this row, some pops of color, and a little bit of just pizzazz to this whole palette, whereas the top is very everyday shades and blush shades. The shade range is definitely very apparent when you look at it. You got your you got a few pink shades, sea foam shades, and then your blue, gold, brown, black. You know, it's a very, very basic palette, but it's a lot of fun if you're looking to get the spring look, because these colors are all pretty much just scream what's going on trend-wise for spring 2016. I do have to say that these shades are buildable, they do blend well, some of the shades are a little bit crumbly, like I said, use a, do a dense brush or a moist brush to get more out of them, but um, in and of itself for about 20 bucks, I feel like, um, I feel like this is a good option, but I feel like there's better options out there. Like on a whim, if you're looking to try something new and you want to try the Ulta brand shadows, go for it! But I, would I recommend running out to your local Ulta and snagging this baby? If it's on sale. <laughs> if it's on sale. Anyway, guys, did you did any of you pick up the Prismic palette from Ulta? Let me know what you guys think if you did. And if you didn't, is this something you guys would be interested in? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.